Elliot Kipchoge is the world's fastest marathon runner who in 2018 ran a marathon in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds, which is unhuman. And today, I will be attempting the Kipchoge Workout Challenge, the hardest workout challenge I have ever done. You run 200 meters at world record marathon pace and then rest 2 minutes. And then you run 400 meters at world record marathon pace and then rest 2 minutes and then go 600 meters and so on and so forth. As you would guess, it gets extremely difficult extremely fast. I don't think I can do it. You don't think I you don't can, do think I can do it? Total Running Productions created this workout challenge three years ago. I want to challenge Nick Simmons, Zach Levitt, and the athlete special. That's you, Spencer. I'm talking to you. Nick Simmons and Zach Levitt can only make it through the 1,000 meter rep. He's dead. Could you uh, call me an ambulance, please? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Here, let me but go. I was able to complete reps all the way through 1,200 meters. I was the undisputed champion of the Kipchoge Challenge, but the unthinkable happened a few months ago. Elliot Kipchoge broke his own world record for the marathon with an insane time of two hours, one minute, and 10 seconds. That is 437 mile pace for 26.2 miles. I can no longer call myself the champion of this challenge unless I take it on once again with the updated pace. So this is our workout goal, splits. If I could get all the way up to one mile, that would be unbelievable. Let's find out what happens. We are off with our first rep, the 200 meter rep. If we break it down, a 437 mile is 69.25 seconds for 400 meters. And if we break that down to 200 meter splits, it is exactly 34.625, but we'll call it 34.63. God, jeez. I knew I was going to be able to get through this rep. I just wanted to make sure that I was not accidentally slow, but 32.7 for 200 meters is safe. Two minute rest was more than enough time for me after one 200. So I only took about a minute going into this 400 meters, but all I had to do was run faster than 69.25 seconds. With about 50 meters to go in the 400, I knew I was safe and I looked down at my watch as I crossed the line and I was 67.7 seconds. I was still feeling pretty easy after the 400, but I knew that the 600 was going to start to be a lot more difficult. So I went out a little quick just to make sure I had some wiggle room. I checked my watch and I was looking good at 400 meters so I knew I was safe. The time needed for this 600 was 143.88, and as I crossed the line, I saw 141.6. All right, Spencer, so uh, Elliot Kipchoge ran this for two hours, and you have run it for a collective uh, three minutes. How are you feeling? Impossible. It's an impossible challenge. After the 600 meter rep, I was really starting to have my doubts that I could make it all the way to one mile. It was really starting to hurt a lot earlier than I expected it was going to. I kept making the same mistake by going out really fast on reps and I felt like I was paying the price on the second lap. But as I crossed the line on this lap, I hit 216.1 and all I needed was 218.5 so I was safe. For the 1K, I needed to run 253.12, and I was really worried I was not going to be able to do it. Here goes pads. Even though after the 1K, I would only have to do three more reps, each of them were getting longer and longer, and I was really starting to get tired. But as I finished up the 1K, the watch read 250.6, and I survived to live another day up to the 1200. The 1200 was as far as I had gotten in the previous record three years ago, so I hoped that if I could at least get to this point, I was better than I was three years ago. This one was really coming down to the wire, guys. I really did not think I was going to make it. I started to die big time, but... Bang! 327.2, I survived by 0.5 seconds. We need to get a delicious pre-workout dinner in the night before, and thanks to our friends here at HelloFresh, 
we are going to be able to have that dinner. And guys, a lot of you have been giving me a lot of crap about my diet. So HelloFresh is an incredibly fresh way to cook meals. And I'm not the best chef, so this walks you right through it and how to do it. And tonight, we're making tacos, everybody. We're making tacos. Tacos! <laughs> Yeah. This is our sous chef for the night. Anyways, one pan recipe, which is great. So the month of February is upon us. And I know a lot of you came up with New Year's resolutions to eat healthier and eat a better diet. Get HelloFresh to stick to those resolutions for 2023. On to the next step, everybody. This is just the casual night at home. Spence is always just Doing the cooking, stirring, chopping, sauteing, always at the stove. Going to the grocery store sucks. Not my favorite thing to do. So it's nice to get this stuff delivered right to your door. Saves time so you can spend time with loved ones. Everyone knows the rules, I gotta take one bite. Fantastic. I love tacos, but I know tacos aren't for everyone. There are over 40 weekly recipes that you guys can make, so there's endless amounts of recipes out there for you on HelloFresh. So go on HelloFresh.com and use code ATHLETESPECIAL65 for 65% off plus free shipping. And you're only halfway through the workout distance. But how how you feeling? Not good. <laughs> I'm very concerned this might end poorly. Oh, you think you can't do it? I don't think I can do it. You don't think I you don't can do think it? I can do it. We'll try though. Give it, yeah, dude. Give it, like, relax into it. The first hundred, ease in. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I pretty much sold everything I had to get through that 1,200 rep, and I pretty much felt like there was no chance I could run this 1400 on pace, but I gave it my best shot and let's see how we did. As I got more and more tired, my shoulders started swaying back and forth and you could just tell that my form was breaking down, but I was giving it all I had because I wanted to become the undisputed champion of the new Elliot Kipchoge marathon workout challenge. So I kept pushing with 50 meters to go, it was gonna be so close, you guys. I, I needed to run 402.37, and I was pushing and pushing and trying to do everything I could. But bang, I ran 404.1. Not fast enough. Guys, I think that's all I got in me. My, I'm just falling apart, that's my only thought, you know? But after the 1400 meter rep failure being so close, only two seconds, I said to myself, you know what? I was fast on a lot of those early reps. I should just give the 1600 meter a shot. Maybe a no watch. Yeah, maybe a no watch. Give her a, yeah, give her a no watch. Coach's orders, no watch, okay. no looking. And if it ends up being a 440, it's whatever. So even though I was two seconds slow on the 1400 meter, I decided to give the 1600 meter a shot to redeem myself. I had no clue what my time was going to be. I was just running all out at this point. And as I crossed the line right here, bang, I looked down and I saw 437. What'd we get? What'd you get on that? Dude, no, 437, no watch. 109.9, 107, 109.3, 107.5. Oh, nice, yeah, so a good <laughs> little good. squeeze. I felt way less tight on that rep. You look better. Yeah. Great mental exercise workout. I am challenging some new YouTubers on the block. Leo and Lex Young, the prodigy twins, brothers of Nico Young. If you guys get a chance, I bet you guys could murder it. It'd be cool to see, cool video to have. So I'm challenging you guys.